You ready to fight? Ready. Well, Israel Adesanya as hot a prospect as has crossed into the UFC in years. He is known as an outstanding kickboxer, and as such, a lot of his UFC opponents are going to try to take him down, as his past victims will attest. That is a whole lot easier said than done. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves up? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Big knee there. Throws that deep and it lands. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Oh, another beautiful combination there, DC. If this is not his best striking performance in the UFC, I'm not sure what was. We've never seen him look so good. And confidence starts the combination. Combinations come from confidence and believing that all the... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive goal to put his opponent on wobbly legs. see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Oh, and there it is, another hook connects flush. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Do All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother... So 
he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, this is absolutely... Oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He hurts real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Knees to the body here in the clinch by Strickland. in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Adesanya's in half guard now. Great job finding his shots from the top position. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Right back. Massive shot from the top. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Strickland's nose is all finally up top. 15 seconds. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And the horn sounds on round two. Stop, stop, stop. Right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, well, his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Third and final round. Straight punch is true. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Well, block that punch. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Israel Adesanya's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. Starched by these elbows on the ground. Let's get back up. Let's work. Let's work. Let's All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. Oh, big shots raining down. Sanya gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're 